Let's go welcome to a random episode of Spelunky. And you guys saw what happened with the last series with the forest and a red... Uh, one comment in particular said, hey Dan, you should just play games you like. And you know, my response was in 2015, I'll be trying a lot of new things on the channel. And some of them may work or some of them may, may not like... Uh, like uh, the forest, you know, but I, I, either way, I'm glad I had a chance to play that and share that experience with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, not to say that we're never going to play the forest again, but for right now, um, you know, we kind of we kind of scrubbed a little bit of the rust off, took a look at it and said, all right, you know, we'll put this on the shelf. But, uh, you know, I figured what could I put on here because I didn't wasn't ready to start a new series yet in terms of I want to do a little more research and so I'm like, what can we put up that would be fun to watch for someone that may have never seen this before? So let me explain to you guys what Spelunky is. Spelunky's been out for a while. Um, you can probably get it for, you know, depending on when you buy it, between between 15 and let me turn the music up here. Between 15 and maybe five dollars if you can get it on sale on, on Steam. Uh, maybe even a little more if you're lucky. And I want to turn this up because the music in this is so good. All right. So essentially, what this is, this is Oh, I thought we almost got pinched there. How do we not? It's similar to Isaac in which each level is randomly generated. And if I said si similar to Isaac and just turned you off, um, I hope I did it. Because it's, it's fun. It's like a, it's a 2D platformer that's different every time you play it. And um, it's good times, mate. It's good times. So essentially what you can do is I'm going to explain this. You have to finish each level. And there is an end to this game. It's extremely difficult. The first time I beat it, you know, I used to play this a lot on Twitch. The first time I beat it, it took probably 40 hours to beat it for the first time. Not on one run, because each time you die, like I said, a new run starts and, and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's fun, it's very difficult, and it was an old crowd pleaser. So I hope, and Twitch, so I hope you guys enjoy it if you've never seen it. And but I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably a lot of you guys have seen this before. Um, and right now you guys, you may be wondering, hey, oops, whoops, sorry, Peppermint Patty. Um, actually, that's not Peppermint Patty, that is Wendy Peppercorn. Um, some of you guys may be wondering, why am I carrying this, this blonde individual around with me? And that's because if you, on each level there is someone you can save. It may be a male, it may be a female, it may be a, a dog that we call Frank. If you carry them out to the next level, you'll see what happens. She shows up, she gives us a nice kiss, and we actually, last floor we had four health, now we have five in the upper left hand corner, it's, it's in the heart. Um, so if you're able to save someone on a floor, you get an additional, essentially, hit point, which is good. Also up in the upper left hand corner, you'll see that we have four bombs to use, which if we were to use a bomb here, it would destroy some of that wall, and three ropes, and ropes are very handy in terms of getting into areas that we probably shouldn't get into. Um, see like right here we're gonna throw one here so we can get get the monies and you say hey Dan why are you spending time collecting money if the goal is just to Ooh, wow that took two huh since when did that take two um, but there are shops in this game in which you can trade your monies in for helpful items so think of it as like just buying good stuff that'll help you in the run. I'm very perturbed that 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 took as much health as it did. Normally, I thought hits take only one damage, but maybe because we took it in the face, it was a little more than that. Nice shot there, sir. All right, so currently we have what? 14 grand. That's a good amount. There's a shop right below us. You heard that noise. Where is that person? I don't know if you heard that little crying. There he is. That's where we need to go because we need health. So let's go ahead and drop a bomb here. Oof. All right, let's drop another one. And let's save this individual, hopefully. Ah, got to waste our last rope. It's not a waste if we save Bertrand here. All right, Bertrand, let's go ahead and... The other thing is, you can, if you fall from a certain height, you can take a hit point, so we don't want to do that. 
Now the question is, do we want to buy the mystery box or the guaranteed victory? Not victory, but guaranteed good item. Let's buy the mystery box. Hopefully it's something good. Okay, we'll bomb this and hopefully get two grand for that. 1200 I want to buy that bomb box. We're going to have to do it. Ooh. All right, so here's the other part of the game. If you take too long, then this ghost comes out, and if the ghost touches you, you're dead, and the game's over. So he essentially forced us in between a rock and a hard place, and now we're in a position where we have one bomb and no rope, and that doesn't make Spelunky very happy. All right, so let's carefully do this. There's traps, there's deadly spiders. Oh, you trollo. Okay, we heard Wendy Peppercorn. She's around here somewhere. Excuse me. Yeah, Wendy Peppercorn. If you're and you're wondering yourself, Wendy Peppercorn, the same one from the Sandlot? Yeah, that's her. She was actually programmed in the game, and there she is, right there. All right, so let's take this skull. You never know when you're gonna need an additional skull, like right here. Now let's go ahead and clip that individual. We're gonna pick up this that deal right there and let's we're gonna make a run for it here whoa okay you, I saw something dangerous it was a trap so normally I would act like a maniac and just run through there but because we only have four health we're gonna go ahead and... there we go that way we don't get dinged doesn't appear to be in a shop on this level so let's take Wendy and make a run for it here there are some by the way there's some phenomenal players that play this game that can beat this game in like one second but we're not one of those players should we buy some rope Ooh, I wish we could buy the cape let's buy rope for right now just so we have something all right here we go not a bad first start here we're taking it easy here it's one three is completed one four is the last level in the caves Ooh. This, just like an Isaac, is an indicator of success, Campus. Okay, so what does Campus do? Campus, see that red arrow on the bottom? It shows us exactly where we need to go to get out of this level. Which, you're like, oh, that's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. I promise you it is. It's extremely helpful, especially in the later levels when it gets super trolly. Uh, we're going to avoid that way, even though there may be a some sort of a life there for us. We're not gonna go that way. It's not worth, not in our first run. This is my first time playing this game in a while, so we wanna play with much, much com conservation. Okay, the other thing you're gonna see here, you're gonna see a crate here. That always means there's gonna be something good in there, but some sort of disposable item, or even maybe a permanent item. Um, the other thing that we have here is this yield key. Now we could exit the level, but we're going to look for the locked chest, which happens to, to also be on this floor somewhere. Ah! I'm betting that it's going to be this way. I can't guarantee. Doesn't look like it's going to be this way. Let's look up here. The ghost is, Christmas pass is coming. Hmm. We could gamble, let's gamble. We gotta make a decision and go. All right. Where is this chest at? Oh, here he is. He's up here, isn't he? All right, well, there's really no easy way to get to it. So we're just going to run for it, Marty, get out of the stage before the ghost comes. And I'm okay with this run so far. We have campus, which is a great thing to have. And we have a decent amount of money. And now things start to get interesting. This is where the game gets tough. And a lot of you guys who may be Spelunky aficionados say, Hey, Dan, this level's easy. Well, it is if you're good at the game. If you're not good at the game, wow, see, we left 
five hundo back there. Maybe even more than that. We're gonna have to go back and get that. So the the enemies get tougher, the traps get tougher. Life even gets tougher here. See, I really don't want to mess with this stuff. But you know there's going to be something good to the right, so... There we go, he's gone. Okay, calm. See, this is highly risque. Is it worth? I'm about to find out here. See, this is... This is what makes the game hard. It's just patience. You just gotta have patience. Here we go. Alright. So as we press forward here, there's a shop that I'm highly interested in. What am I interested in? I'm interested in the boomerang for sure. Freeze ray is okay. Machete is good, but we're gonna buy... Or should we save our money? Let's save our money for right now. Maybe we'll find something a little better. Plus, who knows, maybe we'll get a boomerang for free. You never know. Well, there's no way for us to get there without succumb... Ooh. Oh, there's the dog. See him? Drop your franks if you're from Twitch. There he is. We can save him here. See? Look at those, those troll fish want us dead. Alright, so looks like we're going to have to bomb our way down. Nice and easy here. See, this is why this game is brutal. Because the only way to get there, in my opinion, is to bomb straight down. But even if we get to that point, it's going to upset the shopkeeper. We'll just see what happens here. There's always a way, never forget. There's always a way. Don't upset the shopkeeper, though. There he goes. No, that's not the shopkeeper. Well. There we go. I don't know if you can swim or not. May Apparently you can. But then you got to deal with those guys. So, this was our first run in Spelunky. Um, I don't know. We'll see how you guys react to it on the channel. I have fun playing this either way. Um, but that's how quickly a run can end. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Spelunky in Place of the Forest. If you guys enjoyed it, I encourage you to hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps support the video, helps support the channel, helps support your face, and may or may not help support our ability to swim with the fish. I'll see you next time.